Today we are going to be discussing types of reactions. First up, we have the synthesis reaction. I will go ahead and uh, add a qualifier. All of the stick figures that are going to be shown are going to be of heteronormative relationships. This is to add for clarity as to the types of uh, reactants and products that are going to be produced. If you would like to draw non-heteronormative relationships, that is of course appropriate and fine. Just find some way to delineate between the members so that you can tell what type they are. So first up we have synthesis. So I have a bald boy and triangle skirt girl and they are initially single elements but they will come together to form a new couple. Uh, my nickname for this one is going to be the hookup. Synthesis reactions are going to put things together. I am always going to have two or more reactants on the left hand side of the arrow. That's what a reactant is. It's whatever's on the left hand side of the arrow. And I will only ever produce one product. Letter example would be A plus B going to AB. Actual synthesis reaction example would be hydrogen plus oxygen forming dihydrogen monoxide or water. The opposite of synthesis would be my decomposition reactions. Here I have bald boy and triangle skirt girl in their couple form. And they are going to break apart or break up and form just single bald boy and triangle skirt girl independent of each other once more. Again, nickname for this would be the breakup. Decomposition reactions are going to take things apart. I will always have one reactant that will break down to form multiple products, two or more products. Letter example would be AB decomposing into A plus B. Actual example of a decomposition reaction would be calcium bromide breaking down to form calcium and bromine. The next type of reaction that we're going to talk about is going to be that of single and double replacement. Single replacement, I'm always going to have a single element on each side of my reaction. So here you can see bald boy and triangle skirt girl are back together until circle skirt girl comes into the picture. Once circle skirt girl comes into the picture, she is going to replace the piece that is most like her. So she is going to replace triangle skirt girl and they are going to form a new couple, a bald boy and triangle skirt girl, leaving, or bald boy and circle skirt girl, leaving triangle skirt girl out in the cold all by herself, single. I'm going to have a single on each side of the reaction arrow. Word definition for this is going to be a single element replaces a single element in a compound. Letter example would be AB plus C going to AC plus B. Again, I'm going to emphasize that like must replace like. So in my actual reaction, you can see potassium iodide being introduced to bromine. Bromine is a non-metal and so is iodine, which means that bromine must replace iodine in this single replacement reaction. So I will have potassium iodide reacting with bromine to form potassium bromide and iodine. Like must replace like. For double replacement, you can see bald boy and triangle skirt are trying it again. They're back at it. They're going to try to see if they can work out their problems until they are introduced to crazy hair boy and circle skirt girl again. Bald boy just can't help it. He breaks up with triangle skirt girl again and gets with circle skirt girl. In their desperation and loneliness, 
crazy hair boy and triangle skirt girl are going to get together to help support each other through this terrible time since they have terrible partners. In double replacement reactions, two compounds are going to exchange components. Like must replace like. In my letter example, I have AB plus CD. A must be uh, bonded with somebody that is similar to B. B is in second position, so I can only ever exchange someone else who is also in second position. So my new compound that I will form is AD plus CB. In my actual uh, reaction example, I have potassium iodide reacting with lead to nitrate, forming potassium nitrate and lead to iodide. Nitrate and iodine have switched places. They have switched partners. And they can do this since they are both anions in these compounds. And they are of like kind, which means that they are able to exchange places. My last piece is going to be that of combustion. Combustion is my fire reaction. And I like to call it a hot mess not only because it is the reaction that is used for fire or flames, but also because of what happens in the actual reaction. Unlike all of the other reactions, which have been very generic in their definitions, combustion is very prescriptive. It must meet certain qualifications in order to be a combustion reaction. I must have a hydrocarbon, Hydrocarbons are simply a compound that contain hydrogen and carbon. And the rest of it is set in stone. The hydrocarbon can change, but the rest of them cannot. So my hydrocarbon must react with oxygen. And it must produce carbon dioxide and water every single time. My example reaction is a hydrocarbon C sub X H sub Y plus oxygen forming carbon dioxide and water. These three reactants, or sorry, these three components must be the same every single time. If you do not see oxygen on the left hand side, it cannot be a combustion reaction. If you do not see the products, carbon dioxide and water, it cannot be a combustion reaction. It is very, very prescriptive. But keeping along with the relationship analogies, we have a hydrocarbon, so carbon and hydrogen are dating, and then oxygen gets introduced. Oxygen breaks up the initial relationship of the hydrocarbon and gets with both carbon and hydrogen, which is why I call this a hot mess reaction, because oxygen is a hot mess, breaking up a couple and then forming compounds with both of them. Ridiculous. And that is our types of reactions.